The study of sex differences is hugely important, even though many people in my field don't realize that yet. And a great function of this society is to help people to realize that. It's hugely important because it's everywhere. Consider brain science. There are sex differences at all levels of brain function, down to the level of single neurons, down to the level of ion channels. They, there's evidence that ion channels oper operate differently in males and females. But even though it's everywhere, it's been largely, by and large, ignored. Uh, neuroscience, in particular, is the worst offender. 93% uh, of the animals studied in neuroscience are male. But the conclusions are drawn equally about males and females. Maybe that was a valid strategy 20, 30 years ago. It is no longer because of the evidence that indicates that sex differences is, is important, often in ways that we completely didn't anticipate. But that doesn't make it unimportant. It just means we didn't anticipate it. So it's hugely important because the data already make it clear that sex differences are everywhere in brain function, in body function. We've been pitiful as scientists at understanding this. We've been great at dismissing it, pitiful at understanding it, and we need to be better at understanding it. And I decided that this time, it was time for me to go attend this entire conference, sit, listen, think, talk, and really try and digest as much as I can about the topic of sex differences in the body, not just the brain. I know a lot about sex differences in the brain, but I wanted to absorb more about the body more generally, broaden my knowledge base, and also I wanted to just have a chance to just sit and talk with the key people involved, which in 10 years of doing this, I, I really have had relatively little chance to do that. So that's why I'm here. Slowly and with great difficulty, but by not giving up. People are gradually shifted one at a time, light bulb goes off in their head one at a time, as they see some sex difference regarding their own work that shouldn't be there, but that's there, and that they can't figure out how to dismiss. One person at a time, people start to change their mind on the importance of this. Uh, and I really think that's how it has to be done, uh, by continuing to do the kinds of things we've been doing, maybe cranking up the volume a bit and being a little more in your face about it. Uh, because I'm, we need, as a, as a collection, the people here need to start getting tired of the same old dismissive kinds of comments. We need to you know, be a little more, I think, uh, vocal about the certain excuses aren't good enough anymore. But we have to just keep banging the drum. The, the mountain of resistance against is, is huge, but we take it down one chip at a time.